Lesia Surenko has withdrawn from her match against Irina Sabalenka at Indian Wells. Ukrainian tennis player Lesia Surenko has confirmed that she has withdrawn from Indian Wells after suffering a panic attack following a discussion with Women's Tennis Association, WTA, Chief Steve Simon. The country's number three professional had reached the second round following a surprise win over Donna Vekic, but the competition claimed she had withdrawn from her match against Belarusian Arena Sabalenka due to personal reasons. The 33-year-old had been seen practicing ahead of her clash in California, but withdrew as she later revealed that a conversation with Simon showed her that the organization had planned to offer little help to Ukrainian players amid the ongoing war. Surenko has pulled out of nine tournaments in the past year either before or during matches, but was shocked by Simon's comments to her as he predicted that Russia and Belarusian players would be able to compete at the 2024 Olympics under a neutral flag and that she should not get upset if a Russian or Belarusian player supports the war. I was absolutely shocked by what I heard. I just broke down mentally. Surenko told Great Tennis Ukraine. He told me that he himself does not support the war, but if the players from Russia and Belarus support it, then this is only their own opinion. And the opinion of other people should not upset me. Following Surenko's 2-6, 6-2, 6-2 win over world number 23 Vekic, the Croatian refused to offer a handshake as controversy was already brewing. Surenko attempted to ignore the surrounding media circus but following her conversation with the WTA chief, had a panic attack and was forced to retire from the tournament. I was completely shocked by this conversation and already in the last game it was incredibly difficult to play. Surenko admitted, It was difficult to gather myself and today, when it was time to go to the court, I had a panic attack and I just couldn't go out there. I really hope that I will be able to digest all this information and be more ready for the next tournament. He, Simon, expressed confidence that the Russians and Belarusians will return to the Olympics, and said that this will happen exactly as it is happening now in tennis. He also said that fair play and Olympic principles were not violated, but on the contrary, the very fact that they will perform at the Olympics will show that these principles work that everyone is equal and everyone has the opportunity to perform there.